Okay, guys, uh, we're going to talk about ma uh, inverse matrices now. Um, first thing uh, when we're dealing with inverses is they have to meet two criteria. Okay, first of all, they have to be square. Okay, you cannot invert a matrix that's not square. So a two by three, a one by two, those you cannot invert. Second, no row in the matrix can be a multiple of another row. For example, we have the matrix one, two, two, four. Notice that our second row is double our first row. So if we multiply this by two, we get these numbers. Therefore, we cannot invert this matrix. But if we have a matrix that, meet the, that meets these criteria, we can invert them. Okay? Now, for our class, we're only going to learn how to invert a 2x2 two two matrix by hand. The others, like 3x3 three three and above, we can invert using technology. Okay? And we'll get to that later. Today, we're just going to do these by hand. So, here's our formula. We start off with a matrix A. It has elements A, B, C, and D. Our inverse which is notated by this, it's A with an exponent of negative one. That's how you notate inverses. All right, we start off with a fraction. It's one over the product of AD minus the product of BC from our original matrix. Then we've changed our matrix around a little bit. A and D have now switched places, okay? And then B and C have stayed put, but they are now negative. So. This is how we calculate it. Now let's do an example. Here's our example. We're going to let A be the matrix 3, negative 2, 7, and 1. Okay? Now if we apply our formula, A inverse is going to equal 1 over AD, which is 3 times 1, which is going to be 3, minus BC, so negative 2 times 7, which gives us negative 14. Now we draw our other matrix here. D and A have switched places, so we now have 1 here and 3 here. And then B and C are in the same spot, but they're negative. So we have negative 7. Since we had negative 2 to start with, we have positive 2 now. Okay? Now we adjust this. We simplify it. 3 minus negative 14 is 17. And we carry over our matrix here. Now it's a scalar multiplication problem. We multiply each element in here by our scalar and we're going to get a bunch of fractions. We get 1 over 17, 2 over 17, negative 7 over 17, and 3 over 17. I know that looks hideous, but that's okay. This is the correct answer. Now, we're going to show you how to check it. Alright, erase all of this. And all I'm going to leave is our inverse. Our original matrix A was 3, negative 2, 7, and 1. What we're going to do to check it is we're going to multiply it by our inverse. So 1 over 17, 2 over 17, negative 7 over 17, and 3 over 17. Okay? So we're going to multiply this. And we'll figure out what we get. Now, let's set up our scratch paper just like we did when we did our matrix multiplication video. Okay, we got 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, and 2, 2. First, we'll take row 1 from matrix A and column 1 of our inverse. So 3 times 1 over 17 gives us 3 seventeenths. Negative 2 times negative 7 over 17 is going to give us a positive 14 over 17. Now we add these together 
And we have 14 plus 3, which is 17, over 17, which gives us 1. So we put that in our product matrix. Next, we're still working with row 1, so 3 and negative 2. But we're now at column 2. So 2 over 17 and 3 over 17. 3 times 2 over 17 gives us 6 17ths. Negative 2 times 3 17ths gives us negative 6 17ths. When we add these together, we get 0. All right, it's starting to come together a little bit. Now we'll move down to row 2. So 7 and 1. And we're back to column 1. So 1 17th and then negative 7 17th. This gives us 7 17th and negative 7 17th. If we add these together, we get 0 again. Finally, we have 7 and 1 times column 2. So 2 17ths and 3 17ths. This will give us 14 17ths and 3 17ths. We add these together and guess what we get again? 1. Our product then is this. This is the identity matrix. What this tells us is that when we multiply a matrix A times its inverse, we get the identity matrix. Okay, and this works the other way around too. So if we had our, our inverse times our original, we again get our identity. Okay, that's how you can check them. Of course, we saw how we can get our inverse. And, of course, the bigger ones we're going to do on the calculator. So, there you go.